On the other side of the law, the London police force was engaged in one of the most ample investigations in its history. Thousands of people were interviewed and hundreds of leads were chased down, yet police were heavily criticised by the public and the media for failing to apprehend the killer. The inquiry was initially handled by Whitechapel's H Division of the Criminal Investigation Department, but was soon taken over by Scotland Yard detectives. Chief among them was Detective Inspector Frederick Aberline, who was put in charge of the case because he had previously worked for H Division for 14 years, and it was thought that his local knowledge would prove invaluable. A frequent criticism throughout the investigation concerned police refusal to offer a reward for information. Authorities were accused either of not taking the case seriously or not caring what happened in a poor district full of immigrants like Whitechapel. In reality, this lack of reward was a new Home Office policy instituted a few years earlier. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably already aware that the police never caught Jack the Ripper. That being said, there are two curious moments in their investigation that are worth discussing. First is a report by Surgeon Thomas Bond. He was asked for his opinion on the killer's medical knowledge, but Bond ended up writing an 11-point essay which is sometimes regarded as the first ever criminal profile. Curiously, Bond vehemently disagreed with Dr. Phillips' assertion that Jack the Ripper had a medical background. He didn't even think the killer had the technical knowledge of a but When he means medical, I think probably health issues, or I think health problems, I think, 